Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank interview preparation kit problems. Currently, we're going over sorting, and today in particular, we're going over the comparator. This is our first problem of difficulty medium in our sorting category, uh, but no need to fear, it has a 96% pass rate. Okay, let's get to the problem. Uh, comparators are used to compare two objects. In this challenge, you'll create a comparator and use it to sort an array. The player class is provided in the editor below. It has two fields, one name, a string, two score, an integer. Given an array of n player objects, write a comparator that sorts them in order of decreasing score. If two or more players have the same score, sort those players alphabetically ascending by name. To do this, you must create a checker class that has that implements the comparator interface, then write an int compare player A player B method implementing the comparator dot compare type T object one to type T object two method. In short, when sorting in an ascending order, a comparator function returns negative one if A is less than B, zero if A is equal to B, and one if A is greater than B. Declare a checker class that implements the comparator method as described. It should sort first descending by score, then ascending by name. The code stub reads the input and creates a list of player objects and uses your method to sort the data and prints it out properly. So we don't have to worry about the printing. All we have to do is make this comparator function is what that means. Uh, and we have some constraints. The first two don't really matter to us, but the final one really does. Uh, player names consist of lowercase English alphabet letters only. Uh, we'll explain why that makes sense here in a minute. And then uh, we have our sample output, uh, just kind of explaining what the expected behavior is. Again, uh, you can see that it first sorts by score, where we do have a tie between these two. It chooses Amy to go first because her name uh, comes sooner alphabetically than uh, David. A comes before D, in other words. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to uh, coding the solution. Um, oops, let's go ahead and make that go down. Uh, where is, where are we supposed to be typing here? Did I delete it somehow? I don't know what happened there, uh, but it's back now. Anyway, let's get to solving this. So. First things first, we are going to compare if the A score is equal to the B score. Uh, the reason why we're checking this first is uh, in this case, we need to compare the names also. In any other case, we don't need to. So we're gonna do an else if here. Uh, we're gonna check if A score is greater than B score. Uh, in this case, uh, we return a negative one. Let me double check right here. Uh, so negative one if A is less than B. Okay, so positive one if A is, a is greater than B. So we're gonna return one. Okay, and then else return negative one. Because the only other condition would be that B is greater than A. Okay, so now we need to examine this case. Um, so if we need to compare the names, we could go ahead, do a for loop, compare each character of the string until we get through it and then do all that. Or we can include a class uh, called string. dot h, boom, um, string dot h, string dot h has a function inside of it called string compare. Now the only caveat here is for string compare to work, you have to have a const char uh, pointer to a, uh, to, well, an array of characters, that's constant. Uh, but you can get this from the name by doing a, oops, a dot name dot c underscore string and then const char pointer name b 
is equal to b dot name dot c underscore string. Uh, if you're solving it in C++, uh, otherwise you might just have whatever string compare function you can think of in your language. Uh, there might even be a easier one to use in C++. I just am not aware of it. So this is what I got. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to call the function and store it in an integer ret. Uh, ret is equal to string comp of name a comma name b. All right. So how this function works is if the strings are equal, it returns a zero. So ret would be zero. Uh, if the uh, it'll be less than zero. So any number less than zero, if uh, name A comes be uh, first alphabetically before name B, and it'll be greater than zero if name B is uh, comes after, uh, or it'll be greater than zero if name B comes before A alphabetically. So the logic for this function is backwards from what we want to return. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put an if statement. So if ret is greater than zero, so if we got a positive value, then that means that b comes first, and if b comes first, we want to return a negative one. So we're gonna return minus one. Uh, else if uh, ret is less than zero. Uh, in this case, we want to return a positive one. And the only other possible situation is if they are equal, and if they are equal, then we return zero. So um, we could get rid of this else and just return negative one. In the default case, um, but this, this should work, so let's hit run code. And yep, sure enough, we pass the sample cases and we'll go ahead and submit. And there we go. Congratulations, you have now solved the comparator problem. Uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, if you're struggling with this problem, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this published. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to be pumping out some more of these real soon. So I hope you uh, stick around. And until next time, bye bye.